arithmetic in the home and office. Find the simple interest on 60,000 error for 5 years at 9% per annum. Solution Using I equals PRT over 100, which is interest equals principal times rate times time over 100, where our I is unknown, which is what you're looking for, our P is 60,000 error, rate is 9%, and time is 5 years. We have our I to be equal to 60,000 times 9 times 5 over 100, leaving our answer to be 27,000 error. Example 2. Find the simple interest on 40,000 error for one year at 5% per annum. Solution. Using I equals PR to 100, we have our I to be equal to 40,000 error times 5 times 1 over 100, leaving our answer to be 2,000 error, which implies that our interest is 2,000 error. Example 3. Imam borrows 1,600,000 error to buy a house. He's charged interest at a rate of 11% per annum in the first year. He paid the interest on the loan. He also paid back 100,000 error of the money he borrowed. How much did he pay back altogether? Now, in this case, our principal is 1,600,000 error. Rate is 11,000, I mean 11%, and time is one year. Now, the interest on 1,600,000 error for one year becomes I equals 1,600,000 times 11 times 1 over 100, leaving us with 176,000 error. Now, the total money paid all together will now be 176,000 error plus 200,000 error, which gives us 276,000 error. Example 4. A man got a loan of 3,600,000 error to buy a house. He paid interest at a rate of 9% per annum. In the first year, he paid the interest on the loan. He also paid back 280,000 error of the money he borrowed. How much did he pay for the first year altogether? Solution. In this case, our P, which is our principal, is 3,600,000 error. Our rate is 9% and the time is 1 year. Now, using P, I equals PRT over 100, we have it as 3,600,000 error times 9 times 1 over 100, leaving us with 324,000 error. Now, for the first year altogether, he paid 324,000 error plus 280,000 error, which leaves us with 604,000 error. Now, note your unit is always very, very important. Another subordinate question in mathematics. Income tax. Having gone through the last slide thoroughly, let's answer example 5. A man has a total income of 52,800 naira per month. He has three young children. He claims 3,700 naira for a dependent relative. Calculate the amount of tax he pays. Solution. Now, the first thing we have to do is to calculate the allowance. We need the man's allowance, which is his personal allowance. He has three children, and per child is 2,500 naira. Therefore, the three amounts to 7,500 naira. The man claims 3,700 naira dependent relative. Now, total, we have it as 70,200. Remember, we are looking for tax, the amount of tax he pays. Now, we have to get our taxable income before we can get the amount of tax he pays. Now, for taxable income, we have it as total income minus allowance which is 62,800 minus 70,200, which amounts to 35,600. And calculating the tax, we have it as 10% of 20,000 Naira plus 15% of 15,600, which now gives us 4,340. Example 6. Find taxable income, given that monthly income is 28,900 and allowance is 10,000 Naira. Now, if you recall, our taxable income is total income minus allowance, which now gives us 28,900 minus 10,000 Naira which are now amounts to 18,900. Example 7. The radio costs 5,400 naira. The trade and the half percent discount is given for cash. What is the cash price? Solution. Discount equals trade and the half percent of 5,400, which is trade and the half of 100 times 5,400, which is now equals to 1 over 8 times 5,400, giving us 675 naira. Cash price is equal to 5,400 minus 675, which is 4,725 Naira. Example 8. A trader sells packet of tissues at 140 Naira each, or 4 for 440 Naira. How much is saved by buying 4 packets at once, instead of separately? Now, in this case, 1 costs 140 Naira. It implies that 4 will cost 140 times 4, which is 560 Naira. 
Now this can price of four packets. It will be 560 naira minus 440 naira, which now leaves us with 120 naira. Example 9. An advertisement for a table says that its price is 15,300 naira plus 5% VAT. How much does the customer pay? Now in this case, 5% VAT of the price will be 5% times 15,300, which is 5 over 100 times 15,300, leaving us with 765 naira, which gives us the VAT price. Now the amount the customer paid including the VAT will be 15,300 plus 765 naira, leaving us with what? 16,065 naira. Finally, example 10. One year, a company paid a 94,500 naira telephone bill to Nitel. The bill included VAT of 5%. Calculate how much money the government receives at VAT on the bill. Solution. Since 94,500 naira includes 5% VAT, it implies that 100 plus 5 over 100 times the amount will be equal to 94,500 Naira, which gives us uh, 105A over 100 equals 94,500. Now, where the A represents the actual amount apart from the VAT, okay, that's minus the VAT. Now, in that case, after cross multiplying, we have our A to be 90,000 Naira. Now, the VAT. The VAT will now be what? 94,000 Naira, 500 minus 90,000 Naira, which now gives us 4,500 Naira, which implies that the VAT given to the government is 4,500 Naira.